Today I'm making sweet potato pie. Uh, I have two, these are I guess two large sweet potatoes and I've already rinsed them really well. I have them on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. I'm just going to puncture holes on the outside and I'm going to bake these at 400 degrees Fahrenheit until they are cooked through and tender. Okay, so it has been uh, around 50 minutes. I'm gonna check these. Oh yeah, those are cooked through. Um, let me just uh, turn that off. Okay, now I can take it out. There we go. Okay, so these are done. I'm gonna let these cool, clean them up, mash them up. So for the pie crust, I am going to kind of do the whole fake it, <laughs> fake that it's rustic and homemade. So I thawed this deep dish nine inch pie crust that I bought from the store. Come on, there we go. So now, I am going to just press this into my pie plate. Let me give you a better, there we go. And uh, do the best I can here. Let's see, kind of make it even. And you can definitely crimp the edges and what have you. There we go. So yeah, I'm gonna bake, I'm gonna bake this in my pie dish instead of the store-bought aluminum pie thing that the pie crust comes in. Okay. And if you want to crimp the edges, I do like the whole two knuckles. You kind of do that. But this works. It still kind of has the crimp, crimped edges from how it came in the package. Okay. Yay for that. I'm going to put this in the fridge. I don't want it to be warm dough when everything goes into the oven. I do want this to be cooled and set. It's time to clean these up. In my last sweet, pota uh, sweet potato pie video, a commenter said that if you just peel the, uh, the two outer pieces of the sweet potato pie, it actually will pull all the little stringy bits uh, off of the sweet potato. So if you do that, when you're peeling it, That'll help to rid those stringy bits. But you could just push this through like a sieve, a wire mesh sieve, to really make the sweet potato um, pureed and soft. Oops. So let's go ahead and just, and I'm using clean hands, everybody. Let me peel. Oh, and some of the roasted, like, uh, caramel sugar, natural sugar from the sweet potato got a little caramelized. So, so yeah, you kind of take off the ends. Yeah, I guess that does work. There we go. You're going to want to end up with 15 ounces of sweet potato puree or mash. So now take your fork and you're just going to want to mash the sweet potato. Let me break it apart. It makes it easier. And I'm not really on the flattest surface to make this easy, but it is soft and tender, so it's easy, easy just to, you know, mash up. Okay, so I have my uh, mashed sweet potato. Now I'm just gonna start adding all of the rest of the ingredients. I'm going with a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a half teaspoon of freshly uh, zested lemon or lemon zest, a half teaspoon of salt, two to two and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. Here I have four tablespoons of unsalted melted butter. If you're using salted butter, then don't use the salt, the extra salt. I'm also going to add just a little bit of freshly grated nutmeg. 
Um, some people don't do that with sweet potato pie, but I like it. Like an eighth of a teaspoon works. I'm going with one and a half packed cups of light brown sugar. Three quarters of a cup of evaporated milk. Two large eggs going in. There we go. Now I'm just going to give this a mix and combine well. You can also use your electric mixer for this. That definitely makes things easy. Okay, so to make this silky smooth sweet potato pie, I am going to, let me, uh, I'm going to pour this through a sieve, a fine wire mesh sieve, and then just kind of push it through any lumps and chunks that <laughs> didn't get pureed well. You don't have to do this, by the way. This is just what I like to do to make it very creamy, smooth texture, a silky texture to my sweet potato pie, but it's not necessary. Okay, so here's what was left in my little fine wire mesh strainer sieve thing here. And that's what's silky and smooth. So just give that a little mix and I'm putting this into my pie shell. Getting the pie shell. Let's take it over to my work area. Okay, so now I'm gonna pour in one-handed. Let's. Let's see the mess that I'm going to make. <laughs> so there we go. Into my pie shell. Okay, I'm going to actually put this under a baking tray just so it doesn't, you know, have any spills. I'm baking this at 400 degrees Fahrenheit in my preheated oven. Be careful. Okay. So this is going in to bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour. Okay, so my husband's gonna help me and the pie is done. It has been an hour. Uh, maybe we can get it with the baking. Okay, careful. Looks so good. Okay, so it's done. And I wanna show you I mean, you could test the center, but it is going to have a slight jiggle to it. Let's see if I can give you a little... See how it kind of jiggles? That's fine. It's going to set. So now the hardest part <laughs> is letting it cool and set. You want to make sure that it cools and sets for at least an hour. But this looks so good. Okay, so this has only been cooling off for like 30 minutes. I'm going to go for it. It's still hasn't quite set up. You want it at least, like I said, an hour. It'll help you get the first slice out. That crust broke, but look at this. Oh, that looks good. And the longer that it cools, it'll set up really nice. That butter is still kind of melted and um, once the butter kind of cools and solidifies, it sets up the custard or the sweet potato a lot better. So going onto my plate, there we go. Sweet potato pie. This is like one of my favorites. So good. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.